Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here at the arena in Birmingham, joined by Super Sam Maxwell. The KO run continues, mate. defending the WBO European title. I'll yeah, be over the moon. I am. Uh, I feel like I wanted a good performance. Like my other fight, got where I won the title, I got a lot of exposure, but for the wrong reasons. But this time, I, I think uh, I boxed well, and uh, yeah, I liked. I liked my performance. I think. Was there anything in there that was sort of not so playing on your mind? What do you feel his power, or did it seem like using control for the majority of the fight? Yeah, well, I just went in, went in with a different mind frame this fight. Like I've switched on from the first belt, used my jab and listened to my coach. And we've been working on loads of stuff since since that first fight. Um, and I think you can see the improvement in me. I'm a bit more relaxed, a bit more better with my defence and um, use my jab a lot more and just, just staying calm in there and, and realising how good I am and, and then building on it. Was that quite a big thing that you sort of worked on? Because you said you got exposure for the wrong reasons. So did you sort of have to, I say go back to the drawing board because you got the win in the end, but did you sort of have to change much for the training camp? Or? Yeah, well, it's just like little things like, I, I got exposed because I, I just wasn't switched on. I underestimate my opponent. And, you know, I'm, I didn't have a nutritionist on my weight. Like, loads of things piled up. But I've over the last year with Danny, I've just been fixing little things, little things here, there. there. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm moving forward, moving towards the finished article, like, in terms of my team. And, and it's bringing out the best performances. But now then things have happened and you can learn from them. It's better that they happened and you've got to win instead That's of them it. happening for the back of a loss. Yeah, I, you see people all the time step up to European level and um, they lose on a loss. Um, they, they lose and they have to learn off a loss, whereas I've learned on a win, which is a, which is a good yeah. thing. Like you said, it's kept my record and, um, you know, build keep building on it. We hear a lot about sort of the journey boxers are going to take. Obviously, the old school is Southern area or whatever, or Northern area. Yeah. Uh, English, British, European, etc. You're going down the WBO route, it seems. It's sort of next year, get out, defend it a couple more times and try and get yourself in the world rankings. Is that the plan? Long Definitely. Time? I'm, I, I'm being put in the, I think I'm in the top 15 when I won it. So hopefully moved up like one or two spots there with with a good win over Conor Parker and um, yeah my management team MTK and in partnership with Frank Warren they, I think they're working on something for me to get me uh, more ranking points move up in the world and then by the end of the year you know call out some of the top names and be in some massive fights. Top names including who do you I, fancy? Who do you fancy at world level? Because there must be one guy that in the back of your head you're thinking of all the, the top guys I I fancy them or. It, it depends because they could all change over the next um, few months. You know, Ramirez is fighting Jack Carroll. Can Jack Carroll could beat him? He could be the champion. I'd like to, I'd like that fight. Then you got. Um, it would help if it's a big domestic fight as well. Definitely. Think, yeah. But um, then there's Ritson and Davies. They just come off the back of a great fight. My, I'm blessed with my division. It's just full of stacks of talent, and I think there's about ten fights in there at, that are like elite elite level fights. And um, you know, I'm going to be in them next year, and I'm and I'm ready. You know, I'm feeling feeling good and excited. And um, you know, my coach is saying I should be. I should be t saying now, bragging, saying like, calling this name, that name, but it's just not me. But uh, I just know I want to be in with the top names, and uh, I think that's the way it's heading. I think they've got good plans for me, and uh, I'm, I'm being, gu being guided by the right people, and uh, it's going to the top. I'm going to the top, definitely, Oscar. I know that for boxers, it's always even sweeter to get a win just before the end of the year, so it sort of end, ends the year on a high. But next year, when do you reckon we can see you out? Early Hopefully, doors? early yeah, February. I want to be out at February. And then, you come think... out pretty far. I know you said you looked like you got beaten up, but. That's yeah, I, I know. I didn't think I got it, but uh, I just looked in the mirror before I got a big bruise. But um, yeah, I'm fr I feel fresh. Feel Don't fresh, no yeah. injuries. My hands feel great. Uh, no cuts, thankfully. And um, yeah, be ready for Feb, early early Feb, and you know get the get the ball rolling again, and then hopefully kick on, have a big year, have four or five fights next year. That's the plan. All right, Sam. Thanks for giving me some of your time. Congratulations on thanks, defending bro. your WBO European title. Catch up with you soon. Cheers. Thank you. Is special. Absolute dynamite.